Hi everyone, so today is the day, we're going on holiday, we're heading to the airport in half an hour, we're flying from Manchester airport, so we don't live too far away, so we're just getting a taxi, so taxis come in at quarter past two, it is now 1.45, so I'm just going to pack the hand luggage for going on the plane, so I thought I would show you what I'm packing for the children. I did have two suitcases for the children, but I'm going to leave this one here and just use his bag because it's going to get too much these are just Penelope's toys that she wants to take so this doll you can put in the pool and then she got these for her birthday so she wants to take these with it and then we've just got some sticker books because she loves stickers and then just some reading books because she loves to read and because she loves Sky and Everest so much we got her the Sky and Everest case and if you saw my Primark haul she is taking this for on the plane and then we also have like Henry's blanket and Penelope's blanket for the plane and it is just chaos in this house it's so loud at the moment other bits we're taking the iPad for Penelope so I've got these earphones for her no one wants to listen to everything that she's got going on these are just in Henry's bag so if you saw my um changing bag video this is like my trusty little pink pouch with all like my medicine bits in so that's probably going to need to go through in like a clear bag because it's a lot of liquidy things and these are just henry's toys just a few bits and bobs for the plane oh and i need to go and get his gummy glove to add in there these bags i got from home bargains they're really cute with the initials on i've got us all want apart from kieran because he didn't want one so this is henry's bag this bag is from my baby i just got this to match his buggy for on holiday and I'm just going to sort this out and see what is in here. So I've just packed in here the Milton Wipes. Oh, who's that? A sales call. As if I don't, I need a sales call while I'm busy. Oh my God, this house is just chaotic. Right, anyway. So the Milton Wipes have gone in because I always need like hand sanitizer wipes, etc. to wipe down anywhere and you never know, do you? And then I have three packs of these Mamiya Wipes. Sorry, I'm going so quick because we're just going to have to get packed up for the taxi coming soon. Um, I've got loads of the Mammy size 3 nappies in here. I've also packed loads of them in his actual case because we're going to need God knows how many whilst we're going away. Oh, I forgot to get swim nappies. Oh, I hope that they have them when we're away. I knew there was something I forgot from Tesco. <gasps> baby brain, baby brain. Oh my God. Anyway, cracking on. I've got some nappy bags because we need nappy bags and I've packed some more in the suitcase as well. I've got some muslins, a couple of backup ones, um, some more in his case as well. And I've got here tissues. You always need tissues with snotty kids. Always oh, snot, 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 snot. And then I've got him this bib that sort of covers the whole of his outfit because we don't want baby food going everywhere. And then I've also got in here some bits for the airport so we've got a carrots and apples and parsnip and and also a banana one because he is weaning and i am feeding him my own food but obviously i can't take that through i don't think i'd be able to take that through security so these are sealed so we can take those i've also got some spoons to take with us i know four spoons might be a bit excessive but i just thought in case we lose any because kit like penelope's always taking things out of the bag and putting them somewhere so you never know so i've got those i've also got some like spare dummies and these aren't spare just for the plane but you might know, like for whilst we're away in case we lose any of them so yeah i've got those spare and i'm just going to make his bottles up ready and his powder and then this bag should be good to go i also picked up these fans for the when we're away so they're going to be oh penelope's been playing with this i bet she's broke it she's a little monkey um so yeah we've got these fans for when we're away and i hope that, that... there we go so we can put them on the pram. Um, I've got one for Henry and one for Penelope, so they're going to be really handy. I'm just going to bob them in the hand luggage as well. And then I've just got some spare clothes for the plane, just in case we have any accidents. And that is everything for Henry's bag. Oh, there's his gummy glove I've got. I'm just going to take that out. I've got a new one there. And I'm just bobbing in some plasters and some paracetamol just in case, because you never know i've got like calpol and stuff i've got this this hooks on to the pram so i'm going to put anything that needs to go in a sealed bag for security i'm going to put in here so that when we get to security we're not taking out like all the liquids and stuff my suitcase for going on the plane is going to have like all my camera in it because i don't trust putting it through 
checked in so I've got like my laptop and my camera and everything so that's going to stay with me so that's all going to need to come out as well so at least I know that all the stuff that needs to come out of security is in this bag or in my suitcase so we're not going in all the bags so that is everything and we are now going to like get all this packed up and head to the airport <laughs> Do you think we've got enough suitcases? <laughs> so your first holiday, Henry. Are we checking in. Are you, giving, are you giving him a kiss? Oh, that's lovely, darling. That's not yours. That's mine. He's just looking after it for you, sweetheart. Are you excited, Penelope, to go on your holidays? Oh, we need to turn it over. Yeah. Are you excited to go on your holidays? Yeah. Is Henry? I think Henry's a bit fed up, isn't he? He doesn't know what's going on. <coughs> We've just gone through security, haven't over. we? Turn the camera over. Do you like to look at yourself? <coughs> <laughs> You're doing the eyebrow. <laughs> Is Daddy gone getting us some snacks and some drinks? And some plugs because we couldn't find our plugs? <laughs> Is that Rabbit? Yeah, it's mine! Did Rabbit have to go through the conveyor belt to get checked? No. No? Does Rabbit, does Rabbit have his own passport? Yeah. yeah. There he is. These are police Oh, look at mummy. Look at mummy. Woo woo! Penelope, what are we getting? Dinner. We're getting some dinner. Penelope wants a pasty, even though I don't think she knows what a pasty is. So we're at the pasty shop. Pasta. In the... It's not pasta, darling, it's pasty. It's not the same thing. I think she thinks it's pasta that's coming, do you? Daddy. Yeah, do you want to go with daddy and see what a pasty looks like? Yeah. Go we're on the aeroplane. We're flying. We're just about to take off, aren't we? <laughs> Is it Henry's first holiday? Henry! Hiya! He's all excited. Are you excited, Penelope? No? Where are we? We're on the plane. Where are we going? On holidays. Henry, are you playing peekaboo? Are you going peek? Boo. <laughs> Where's Henry? Is he playing peek? Oh, he's had enough now, he wants that bottle.
going to the hotel. We have arrived, haven't we? We had a bit of a stress going through passport control because they wouldn't take a card payment for our visa, so we had to do it online and wait for it to all go through. And we've collected all our bags and we're just on the coach now, aren't we? We're going to be waiting to go to our hotel. It's very, very hot. Very, very, very hot. Isn't it? We're on the bus. We're on the bus, yeah. With seats. With seats. We don't have seat belts. We don't have seat belts. Uh oh. You have one. Hi guys, so the last time you would have seen us, we was getting on the coach ride, or we was on the coach ride, I can't even remember, I've not looked at the footage yet, I'm going to edit it all and get it uploaded. Um, the flight was really good, it was just under four hours, the flight. We had a couple of issues, um, was when we was going to check in online, they sat us all over the plane, so I got really panicked, but when we went to the check-in desk, she was really lovely, and she was like, oh, we're really sorry, sorry you've worried, and they sat us all together, so that problem was gone. But when we was at the airport, we were trying to get food and stuff, but the queues were so long and they'd ran out of everything, so I couldn't find a sandwich I was a bit gutted about, but I get really travel sick, so if I don't eat, I get really sick, so they didn't do, we didn't book a plane meal for some reason, I forgot, I have such a baby brain, I forgot to book the plane meals. We didn't have sandwiches in the airport, because everywhere I'd run out of sandwiches and then the only thing they sold from the snack things was like a ploughman's cheese thing so I got that on the plane and I was okay I couldn't get sick or anything the one issue I will say with Manchester Airport which I've never had this issue ever in my life but trust me to have two prams to have this issue we had to go downstairs and come back upstairs to a gate and they didn't have a lift and we had two prams and two suitcases and a bag and it just was not ideal. So Manchester Airport, that was just ridiculous when you could have just opened a door and let us come through. We had to go down and come up and luckily there were some really helpful people. We met this couple in the airport where Kieran helped, the guy had injured his back. So Kieran helped that lady carry their pram up and then she helped us carry our stuff up. So that was really nice that they helped us. But yeah, that was the only issue at Manchester Airport. Everything else went smoothly on that side. And then the one problem we had when we got over here, I thought Kieran was sorting the visas out. He sort thought I was sorting the visas out so we didn't have visas and Kieran had not taken cash out because he was just going to get it when we was over here so when we got to the visa desk they only took cash even though Thomas Cook emailed us and said they would take card payment so yeah that was a bit of a stress at the airport I was nearly in tears it was 12 o'clock like midnight I was thinking we're not going to get through passport control our luggage is going to get nicked our coach is going to leave us because we were in passport control for about an hour um Kieran managed to get on the internet on his phone and do the visa there and then and then we got through but luckily for us the prams hadn't come off the plane so everyone that had, had kids with them had been stood there with all the luggage waiting for prams for this whole hour so to be honest we us getting stuck in passport control was a lot better because it was empty Penelope could run around um, we're not worried about her get going missing anywhere because she couldn't leave and then when we went through the prams were there ready and our, lugg our luggage was the only one on the carousel so that worked out all right but I was a bit annoyed that Thomas Cook said we could pay on card when you can't so if you're coming to Turkey get your visas before you come um, it's cheaper it would have cost us 80 euros if we'd have bought it at the desk but it cost um no it would have cost 80 pounds sorry it would have cost 80 pounds if we'd have bought it at the desk but it cost me 61 pounds because um, Kieran's card wouldn't work so we had to do it on my card so I checked the amount that came out of my bank account because it came out in dollars or euros or something so I, I checked um, my online banking to see what the amount was and it was £61 so it's like 20 quid cheaper to do it online before you come and it's really easy you just put all your details in so I definitely recommend if you're coming to Turkey to get your visas beforehand but yeah that was it and travelling with a toddler and a baby it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be there was no real stresses apart from the visa thing and then the buggies going up and down but usually places have lifts so I was quite shocked at that but yeah so I will leave this vlog here and I'll try and get this uploaded whilst we're still away I brought my computer and everything to edit it so hopefully that will be up well obviously if it's up it'll be up so anyway um I'm, I've also been filming whilst I've been over here so I'm going to upload some vlogs for you I'll probably do it in a couple of vlogs so I will catch you in the next video bye